Hope you won't just get a pack back. Imagine that. Vile times when beggars can put letters together and foul their minds. Another drifter in from Tamaria. Finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant, but any kind of plan is better than none. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, and your mask. Put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Tremble, flaxen-haired wench. Um, bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I! Though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. No, not the Crimson Avenger. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. <laughs> This rogue will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Would he?
They ought to never let your kind in, no regret proper. I am not a racist. Human elf, oh. if it matters not, <laughs> God, a reaper's come for me. White wolf, welcome to the passive flora. Oh, no sign of recognition in your eyes. Greetings, uh... Don't fret. I'm sure I look quite different from when we last saw each other. Uh, which was? Oh, eons ago. You and Master Dandelion appeared, two halflings in tow. What a smash they were, the little chaps. We recount that night to this day. Yeah, sorry, but I'm here to... Speak softly. I know very well why you're here. They await. This way, please. This way. Upstairs. Quite the smile. Like a raw wound. With your Geralt, up you go. Boss has been waiting. Geralt, you're here. Good. Might have chosen a more secluded spot to plot an assassination. It's on everyone's mind. Many would like to do it so there's nothing to fear. Besides, this venue's got a tradition in this domain. Might even consider it fabled. Folke planned her revolt here. By extension, King Vrydank's murder, too. Comparing yourself to Folke? For as I can recall, no one in Redania's annals has a bloodier reputation. Her rebellion changed the course of history. That's what we have in common. In terms of blood, we aim only to shed Radovids. I'm pleased you're willing to play a part. Must admit, I wasn't certain you'd show. Thought about what you said. That Triss and Yen would never be safe as long as Radovid was alive. You better believe it. Well, I'm pleased we've arrived at an understanding. To the matter at hand. I believe you know my associate. Roach. You here? Retired intelligence operatives. We have a club. Defended a king once. Ready to assassinate another now? Not proud of it, yet. I considered all the options and found none better. Radovid's proven many times he only ever forwards his own interests. When Kedwin asked for help, he invaded. When I begged him to support Vizima's defense, he showed me the door. The war nears its end. We've come to a decisive phase. We must act quickly. I've no illusions. Only a dead Radovid means a free Temeria. How's that work? Seems to me Radovid is Temeria's ally. Only as long as my guerrillas do what pleases him, support his troops. Once he wins the war, he won't acknowledge the previous borders, nor wish to restore them. 
He dreams of a northern empire. As long as he lives, Temeria will never be free. But we didn't bring you here to bore you with politics. Radovid's a threat to Triss and Yennefer. Remember that. That ought to interest you most. All right. What do you want from me? One of our co-conspirators ventured out to meet an informer. He's not returned, yet the plan's success hinges on what he's learned. We've got to find him. And you're the best tracker around. Tracker, huh? Really? Anything else you can tell me? Where this associate was last seen, for instance? He's traveling as a journeyman. Itinerant cobbler, that's his cover. He was first to venture across the Pontar. Most probably did so via the Redanian checkpoint. We've a man there who should know more. Calls himself Gregor. Let a Redanian soldier in on your plan to murder Redania's king? Ah, you see, there are even some Redanians who cannot abide Radovid's policies. And when simple soldiers notice something's not quite right, well, then it's time to act. Fine. I'll talk to Gregor. Thank you. And try not to draw too much attention, if you can. Remember, the future hinges on the success of this mission. The future of Temeria. The future of the North. I know. I'll try not to fuck it up. See ya. We're counting on you, Geralt. Anyone see you come in? No one apart from Madame Serenity and your lackey. Off the street, I mean. No one. Nerves getting the better of you. I'm not nervous, just cautious. A trait you ought to nurture as well. I know, and I am. Well about. to lose any tails. I've worked in intelligence as long as you have. I need no lessons in spycraft. Discounts, no credit. <laughs> Is so it what's it going to be? Novigrad stands to gain from being annexed by Redania. Ah! My belly. Eternal fire, how it hurts.
will you want? Hmm. Strange. Well, well, another freak. Texas gives monsters the shits. Wanna dip your dingle? You never given me nothing but floppy diddly. You don't know how to give. Me me hard me hard piece you're saying I'm no good at giving. To give, you've got to have talent and character. There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today. So we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's rearing to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peachy. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Why are you asking me? Well, the lovely lady seems to be having a hard time deciding. And Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. But that he'd let us know just as soon as we arrived. Now we're here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Gero, you've known him long. Say something. You're both stage artists, and cabaret's a form of theater. The interior should reflect that. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Well, well. Guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. He'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. We talking about the same Dandelion? Man who loses a fortune worth half of Novigrad in one night? Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time, and he's never missed a performance. Sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. Your knees. 
Polly and her half-brained fiancé. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Ho ho hold on. What are you doing here? We were going to meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice. Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait! Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. How would you know she keeps a spare key around here? It's not as if we started working together yesterday. Before Polly joined forces with Hubio... You'd visit her? Often? I'd hide out here while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemary in Time. They worked on the dance numbers I, I composed. So, Polly's not one of your... I never mix business and pleasure. The one exception being Priscilla. Who you were just saying is worried about us. So enough of the chatter, and start looking. Fine. Let's find the key. Damn it. Not no. here. 